One thing that motivational speaker is supposed to never tell you or that you heard that a motivational speaker is never to tell you is that you can't. You can't. You're not supposed to tell people they can't. That's no way to encourage anybody. Tell them they can't do something. But I will tell you tonight that the most powerful motivational speeches that I have ever heard came from people who told me I couldn't do something. <laughs> you know why? Because when they told me I couldn't do it, I was bound and determined to show them that I could. Tell me I can't do it. I will prove you wrong. I will show you <laughs> that you're mistaken. You have chosen the wrong one to tell that they can't do something. Because I believe, and this is real important, I can't, will thwart you, will stop you, will slow you down, will turn you around and cause you to move backwards if you let it. But if you have the proper mindset, I can't, will do nothing but make you that more determined to get to your goal. People don't want to exude that much passion in which it becomes obsession because they're fearful of their obsessions. Well, if I'm obsessed about this topic, it's going to take away from my family, from my time. Um, it's going to introduce a lot of, you know, fear or unknown to me. So they back off. But I tell people all the time, there is a difference between passion and obsession. And high performers have obsession about the topic, right? They are obsessed about the topic in which they're trying to learn, master, grow into. And so that obsession is real. And I tell people the difference, here's how you know the difference between the two. When you're passionate, everybody cheers you on. They're stoked for you. Oh, you found your passion? Awesome. Follow your passion. Live with passion. Be passionate. When you're obsessed, they're like, why you gotta be so crazy? Why can't you be satisfied? Why do you always got to get things so perfect? Why do you spend so much time here? When you're obsessed, people think you're nuts. So it's different. And it's like, I always tell people, if no one thinks you're crazy, you're not yet operating to the outer limits of your potential. You're not there yet. If you want to be great, not good, not also grand, not second, not third, if you want to be great, the very best at what you do, obsession is a necessity. You must be. Ain't no two ways about it. Obsession. Nobody got to be the best at anything. I don't care if you flip pancakes, you sweep porches, you wash dishes, you bust tables. If you're the very best at it, you are obsessed about it. And obsessed about it means you slept and you dreamed and you ate that. I will be the very best at what I do. I am determined to be the very best at what I am. And you and you and nobody can tell me that I can't do it because I am obsessed. Somebody in your life should say, Man, you really care about this in like a crazy way. And when you get there, you know you found your thing. And not everybody, find, not everybody finds that. Question the impossible. The greatest achievements of mankind were made by people who questioned impossible. The Wright brothers. Oh, you can't fly, it's no way. If we're supposed to fly, we'd be born with wings. Christopher Columbus, the world is flat, Chris, the world is flat. And at that time, it was accepted by everyone to be true. Question what people call impossible. Four minute mile was the limit. No, no way possible. Okay, what tell you? No way, no way possible. You're gonna run a mile in under four minutes. It just can't be done. Roger Bannister said, I think I can do it. 
I think I can do it. Anyone out there any preceded to do just that? Not me, not I. <laughs> you have chosen the wrong one to tell something like that to. I will show you, I will show you what I can do. I will show you, I will turn your I can't, I will never, I won't, it's impossible. I will turn it around and I will show you that I can do anything, anything. That is my message to you. Let the I can't fuel your fire.